Our time here has been nothing short of a dream. Mr. Booty. What? A paradise above and a treasure trove of discoveries below. But we only have a few days left, and we're here at Tahanea, but we fly out of Fakaraba, which means we need to take our first weather window available. And turns out, that's today. Sometimes in sailing, your plans change. We were gonna go for a scuba, now we're going for a sail. Because the weather says so. And that requires coffee. Can you see the sleep in my eyes? <laughs> it's early. What's our wind right now? 18. 18 knots? Uh -huh. So that's gonna be a good sail. Yeah. So lazy sailing this morning is uh, apparently the word around the boat. <laughs> Let's hope we're right. <laughs> is that right, Frank? We're doing some lazy sailing this morning? We are doing some lazy sailing, baby. Because we can. We are not even gonna put up the main. We're gonna have a delightful sail. <laughs> Watching the rain and the storms go by. Got it. Right. Not exactly your uh, regular morning routine, but when you got a coffee maker on board, that's what you use. That's what you use. I didn't want to pack our pour over and our scale and everything. I didn't. I didn't want to seem too. <laughs> we didn't want to be those people. Coffee snobbish. <laughs> uh, the the reality is, he is a coffee snob, and he would have packed it, except for the fact that we already had too much stuff coming out here, so. It got left behind and we knew they had a coffee maker on board. And while we are coffee snobs, we're not that big at coffee snobs. We're fine with a regular coffee maker for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> video but the boys are putting the anchor chain floats away because you have to float your chain here because there are coral heads everywhere and you float your chain so that you don't drag over the top of the coral kill the coral but also so your chain doesn't get damaged so it's twofold it's a very good reason to float your chain so they've done that Mary Grace has got us heading out of the pass and that's it we're gonna be underway in another minute There you are, Skipper. Thank you very much. It's hot. Yeah, it is. Hold on this hand. Thank you. No big deal. Just drinking a cup of coffee, going through a pass, Easy. driving somebody else's boat. Yep. That's why, because it's somebody else's there boat. There you go. <laughs> Put your buffs on there, Grace. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's just going to wet your jump for you. That's right. <laughs> it's uh, The wheel is. It's funny because driving this boat versus driving Curiosity, like the throttles are just smoother and easier, I think because they're electric, and just all new stuff, right? And then the, the steering is very smooth and, and much more responsive, but Curiosity, you start to turn, you have to wait a second for the boat to respond. This one feels a bit more, not immediate, I mean it is still a boat, but a lot more responsive. And I'm already at back to old habits. Oh, I wondered. I was like, you're not even. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sneaky, sneaky. You're not over. I thought you were driving with no hands. I, it's an old habit. I, I can't help myself. Mary Grace says she does the same thing, so I don't feel too bad. Yeah. Plus, she's sitting right next to me. If she wanted to scold me, she could. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're alright. Oh, 
We have a true wind speed of 14-ish and an apparent wind speed of 6-ish. We are doing 8 knots of boat speed, 9 knots of boat speed depending on 10 knots of boat speed depending on if we're surfing down the waves or not. And we have the Genoa and the Drifter out. So two head sails, no main. And it is super, super comfortable. I mean, downwind sailing is always a dream. This is just beautiful. Even though it's a great day, it doesn't matter. It's spitting rain every now and then. It's a beautiful day for sailing. <laughs> Time. Homemade too? Homemade bread. <laughs> Little herbalicious eggs, dill and parsley. Yes. 10 and a half, 11.5, 11.8, 11, 12, almost 12. This is going to be the fastest breakfast in the South Pacific. <laughs> Somebody's going to argue that. <laughs> So we had our vitamins, we had our coffee, and now we have our breakfast. And now a quick word about today's sponsor, but really, because we do take our vitamins before we have breakfast, it's what's recommended. And so it feels like the right time to talk about it. And I know what you're thinking, really wins a supplement. Yes, because we don't always eat right and we don't take care of our bodies the way that we should, especially when we are in remote areas where fresh foods are scarce. So this is the fruit and vegetable area. There has been no such thing as fresh fruits or vegetables, not even a potato or an onion or an old clove of garlic left anymore. There is nothing. And I'll be shocked if you haven't heard us or somebody else talk about the benefits of Athletic Greens yet. And we all rave about it for a reason, because it is the easiest all-in-one supplement with 75 vitamins, minerals, superfoods, and probiotics. It supports our gut health, immunity, energy, focus, and recovery. Well, at least for those of you who actually work out. What are you talking about? I work out all the time. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Athletic Greens is made in New Zealand and is NSF certified, which lets us know that what is on the label is actually in the powder, which is why it's recommended by neuroscientists, doctors, and athletes. And right now, Athletic Greens will give you five travel packs plus a year's supply of vitamin D with your first purchase. And it tastes good. Just a tip, it's like sundowners, the colder, the better, so I recommend an ice cube. And speaking of sundowners, I feel like because we drink this first thing in the morning, we could call this a sun riser. Ah, I think we could make that a thing, just saying. Okay, sorry. All right, get your athletic greens, and with your first purchase, five travel packs, plus a year's supply of vitamin D. Use the link down in the description box below. And now, to breakfast. We will not be having a gas stove on Curiosity 2 because we did not have a gas stove on Curiosity 1. While the gas works totally fine, it does create a lot of extra heat in the galley. You can smell the propane sometimes, and my vote is still for the induction. They've been sailing this boat for four years, so when they placed their order for this boat, it would have been like six years ago. It's amazing how much can change just in that time frame, and even the fact that six years ago, they got lithium batteries on this boat. I mean, that was probably a big option and not many manufacturers would have offered you lithium batteries six that years was, ago. It was pretty fancy stuff. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Really well done. I mean, we were, that was one of the positives of this frame. Was the fact that they would give you lithium. Yeah. We had a lot of options and obviously the sale package was great, but also the electronics packages were excellent. Mmm. Gotta get a little butter on there. Mary Grace's English muffin toast. Good. Look at all those nooks and crannies.
I think our early five whatever wake up call is starting to catch up with me and I don't think this gray stormy weather is helping so we're all a bit low energy at the moment. Oh, I'm feeling very sleepy. What? Looks like uh, Captain's putting us back to work. Ready Jason? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Are you furling in? Yep, furling in the Okay, you're in? Good job, team. Good job. Oh, all right. Now we're just going to dive right quick. 22 knots, a true wind, so we might be changing that sail plan. <laughs> Got a bit of a squall? Yeah, and right now we're moving at five knots with no sails. Downwind, the autopilot's holding us on a course. <laughs> it's like, no sails, we're going five knots. Sails are furled in, both motors are on, and we are about to go through this pass. And it uh, it could get hairy with this wind pushing from behind going through the pass. It's just changing tides, so. Mary Grace getting into hardcore prep mode. Oh, well, just in case. That's right, it's looking pretty gnarly out there. Oh my <laughs> gosh, you're prepared. Even just out the window. I have a feeling things are about to get very exciting. And then we do reverse. Reverse. And you can hear them. Oh yeah, I heard them. And then you power off. Power off. Can you see the red around the? I just went to zero. Yes, okay. powered off. Okay, cool. And just like that, we're through the pass. Drifters back out. Engines are off, and we're cruising at seven and a half knots. Easy peasy. Now that we're inside the lagoon, it's so calm. We're Trying to get some work done, eating a lot of chocolate while working, <laughs> thinking about doing some yoga. I mean, you know, it's just it's so calm and so steady. And when you've got two captains on board, it's not like our workload for sailing and all that demanding we've had a drifter uh, just forever. And it's been easy. A very champagne sailing kind of day, minus the rain and the cloud. And, and the, the pass and, and the... But it's still been really nice. Yeah, it's such a relaxed day. I think that's the thing, is everybody's super chill today. Downwind days are the it's best. It's just a downwind day. A lot of boats up there for a tiny little atoll in the middle of nowhere. Look at that rainbow, beautiful. 
up. It's a big one. All the way. Let's see. Let's see. There it is. Is it giving you the warm and fuzzies? No, there are so many people where we usually go all by ourselves, but it's very crowded right now. <laughs> so, we'll just go find a new place all by ourselves. Let's see. We're, we're antisocial when it comes to angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just don't want to have anybody drag into our house. <laughs> and I really don't want to swing so close to somebody that they feel like we've just come and like, dropped on top of them. That's the big thing. You don't want to be able to pass a cup of sugar. No. I really don't. That's a lot of water. It's been a wet one. Very wet. Did I whip you? Smack me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I had to go and get my scarf. I feel like a whip. But it's kind of cool. I'm not going to say it's cold. It's just cool. It's just cool. It's definitely not cold. Just being a whip. Here's our daily numbers here, 11 hours of sailing, mm -hmm. average speed of seven and a half, max speed of almost 15. That's pretty darn good for a downwind day. Yeah, an average speed of seven and a half knots when most of the day we didn't have more than 10 knots of wind. And it's so funny because they're like, wasn't a very good day. We didn't do that great. <laughs> and it's all perspective, right? Of like what you're used to. So I'm like, an average speed of seven and a half knots is a pretty good day, in my opinion. We would have never attempted this same trip with that many miles in in a day, right? Yeah. From like within daylight we hours. We would have stopped at the South on Pass. Curious, yeah, we would have had to stop at the South Pass, and still it would have taken us that the same amount of time and we wouldn't have come nearly as far we would have had another 36 miles or whatever to do the next day so there you go performance catamaran versus cruising catamaran and it's funny because even they were like oh yeah we would have never done that in let it be which was like their piece so it's all in the boat it's very interesting so the town is there and the airport is there just sad because we only have another two days here on this boat and we have to leave. Exciting, beautiful sail, what a great time, but it's almost time to go. Oh man, what a bummer. <laughs> I go back to the suburbs. Nah, <laughs> we got some other cool stuff planned, so anyway. That's it. What a great sale. What a great day. Okay. Good night. We are going on a land adventure. Just realized we're about to leave and we haven't been to land the whole time. So we thought maybe we should go show you around. Frank and Mary Grace are letting us borrow their very nice full size bikes with 29 inch rims. Wheels. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I know. We're hurting for equipment here. Man, yeah. there's <laughs> too much space on this boat. They get toys like this. Yeah. It's awesome. So, uh, okay. What else we need? Um, that's it. Shoes. Okay, have fun. Thanks. I'll miss you already. <laughs> First time to land. Yay! <laughs> we're free. We're free. Okay, boat tour through the Anchorage. going I don't know we're just gonna go that way or that way, way. <laughs> there's only one road do the whole thing okay all right here we go I'll follow you okay.
didn't even check the gears. She just got on and go. Okay, I better catch up. There's a couple of nurse sharks here. Cruising. Oh, ha, and a little black tip in the background there. Oh, it's so cool. How far have we ridden? Uh, maybe for 30 seconds. <laughs> Squirrel, squirrel, shark, shark. Now this is Zen made manifest in nature. Fakarava is a biosphere reserve that is home to far more birds and marine life than humans. It's the largest population of gray reef sharks in the world and the second largest atoll in the Tuamotus. Yet most would fail to find it on a map. Until we sailed to the South Pacific a few years ago, I certainly didn't know it existed. Which makes me wonder, how many more gems are there that I have no idea about? Probably a lot. The racer coming over? Yep. Checking us out, huh? You think we got some food? Hi. Well, hello. I don't have anything for you. No? Close up. <laughs> Yeah. Bet if I put it down and let him go at it, he would probably go at it. Yeah. Funny. Camera's making him frisky. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you for that. Very territorial rooster. <laughs> okay. I think that's our cue. Get away from my boat. That's what he's saying. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Literally. There you go. Yeah. That is for sure the first guard rooster I have ever seen. And I, 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 I like it. <laughs> Get out of here. Yep. There you go. Oh. On days like this, where the sunshine and sea breeze are seemingly endless, it's paradise. But behind all these picture-perfect scenes and turquoise seas is a decidedly harsh place to reside. It's just like a big stone. It looks like sand, but it's not. Oh, yeah. Because cue the bugs, extreme heat, battering storm, isolation, lack of resources, infrastructure, and medical care, let's just say it's survival of the fittest. But for those adventurous souls willing to brave it all and take up residence or sail across an ocean to get here, there is something beautiful to be experienced. Weathered that I can't read the inscription. It's the 100 years old, so that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, I forgot about the garlic. Oh, uh, the garlic butter, butter. yeah. <laughs> I remember this from the last time we were here, which is the fact that they put that garlic parsley butter on top of your fries because they weren't unhealthy enough, but it is delightful. <laughs> <laughs> How happy are you right now? Mm, fish burger. Check this out. That is garlic butter on top of french fries. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So wrong. <laughs> but the so salad wrong. makes it okay. <laughs> have you seen that anywhere else? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, we have Frank and Mary Grace have joined us for lunch. 
There you go. It's a big event. Big event. Yeah, this big, big event. event. This is our first time eating out in a month, probably much less two weeks with you guys. It's our first time on land. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. We have you captured. Yes. We have you held captive on TTR. Yes. <laughs> they took us away on the boat. That's the last land we've ever seen. <laughs> Welcome to our lifestyle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Cheers, eat. Cheers, guys. Bon appetit. <laughs> Magnum? Coming in, I got my Come slippers on. with me. There you go. Come Should've on. Should have taken in. them off. That was risky. I think it's sucked in by the water. Uh, my friends, I think it's about time to get in the water. Oh, God, yeah. It's definitely time to get in the water. It's beautiful. Calling my name. Look at that. Gotta get wheels up first, though. Oh, so thirsty, I could drink it in. Oh, yeah. It went from a rainy day to a freaking oh, beautiful gorgeous. sunny day. You guys brought the sun with your bicycle. Oh, man. <laughs> Good service on Ticket to Ride. Yeah. yeah, it's so handy for this right here. There you go, that's how it's done. Notes taken. Let's see if we can repeat that on our 44.
awesome. <laughs> oh, it's our last night on board. Mother Nature might, might give us a wonderful show. We fly out tomorrow and it's gonna be hard to force us to get on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready. Not ready. Oh, and I don't think we can count on Frank and Mary Grace to necessarily kick us off. Uh, so we're gonna have to drag ourselves to the to the airport. Kicking but, and screaming. Yeah. It's hard to wanna leave the two emotes. Just, it's a gem of a place, but we have other adventures on the horizon and we gotta move forward. So, off we go on to off the next thing. Go. I know, but okay. it's been lovely. But hey, these hey! <laughs> new nice people can come back anytime. Anytime. We and love we you can all. Thanks, Frank. We love you all. Hello, uh, all, of you, all of Nikki and Jason's friends. We love you guys. Uh, we, love we love you too, too Frank. Oh, family it's it's so fun. So fun. And look at that beautiful moon, I too. Know, it's almost a full moon. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what a treat. Oh. Frank and Mary Grace are hard not to love. They're the kind of people, every single morning they get up, they start the day, they give you a hug, they ask you how you slept. Sunset on the Bimini. Yeah, sunset on the Bimini. Gotta go. Okay, Jason. You have to stop working for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the stills, you have the action. <laughs> right. This trip has been unique for us in so many ways. I feel stuffed to the brim, yet hungry for more. And while we don't have the same sense of satisfaction that comes with sailing across an ocean to get here, it really is the stuff that sailing dreams are made of. Beautiful anchorages, sandy beaches, clear water, and fish by the thousands. We've learned a lot, experienced even more, and will forever cherish our new friends. Thank you, Frank and Mary Grace.